avenge all the little girls. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? What's up guys? I wasn't planning on doing a video at all today, but I got a new boom mic for- no, I got a new boom stand for my shotgun mic, and I'm trying to figure out which direction I want it to point. It's kind of pointed like this right now, and I think I want to talk into the- the, the pointy tip of it, but I'm not sure. I just want it to sound better. I realized that when I was changing for Friday Night Mail, like when I stood up and actually got my face closer to my camera, it just sounded crisper and clearer and less canny, like I was in a gigantic auditorium or something. And it, I was upping the dB to plus 20 dB on my microphone because I wanted it to pick me up and make myself more audible, but then it was also picking up Jay in the other room and a lot of like noise and static. So here we are, please, if you could do me a favor before we get into the topic. If you could check out my last video that I uploaded on this channel and tell me if this sounds good, I would really appreciate that. Or actually, no, 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 not the last video because I don't know when I'm going to upload this. This might actually serve as just one of the videos I upload when I don't feel like recording something that day. So listen to the video in the description. Listen to the audio in the video in the description uh, to compare to this audio and let me know if you like this better because if you don't, I can switch over. I actually, okay, so I bought a boom stand that goes with the Rode video mic, but I have a higher quality Rode mic that was $250 when this one is $150. So I'm basically just trying to up my video quality. I I'm very, very anal. Anal as fuck when it comes to video quality. It's very important to me. And improving something gets me all giddy and hyper and it's, it's exciting. It's just like improving something about my appearance or about my knowledge, like getting more knowledge or reading a new book or playing a new game, all that stuff. So interesting to me. I love improvements. Improving is Oh, it's the self-actualization, and if I can content actualize as well, that just makes me so happy. So today, I just, I, I took this topic out of my anus hole, and we're just gonna talk today about whether or not I'm a good role model and some of the criticisms I've received from people on the internet uh, over the years and years and years that I've been sexually open and modeling and showing most of my body off or all of my body off, talking about sex, just everything that I've done, I've always gotten this criticism, and recently, most recently, Recently, I've gotten this criticism from someone who's barely even literate and is just like condescending all over the place at me. So if you are watching this video, good sir, which you're probably not because you had so many misconceptions about who I am as a person that it was just apparent that you followed me on Instagram for my tits and then decided to drink a dose of SJW that morning and you know, avenge all the little girls. I know you guys uh, who follow me and watch my videos know what I'm talking about. But, so, it seems like a common argument that I should conduct myself differently because little girls might be watching or children might be watching. And most of the time, not all of the time, sometimes they say it's because I cuss, but most of the time it's because of how sexually open I am, how much of a slut, quote unquote, I am. And I'm using slut openly and loosely loose slut, haha, because uh, I feel like someone who's a slut is someone, you know, by the dictionary definition, has sex with many, many men, but people have changed the definition, used it colloquially to mean someone who just dresses the way I do and isn't afraid to show off my body. It's neither here nor there whether or not I sleep with a lot of men, and people don't really know my sex life, so they just assume she's a slut based on the fact that I have, you know, cleavage, big tits, like to put on makeup, blonde hair, bimbo look overall, kind of fake, you know, that kind of thing. I like that look. It suits me. It's sexy to me and it's something that I enjoy. It doesn't necessarily have anything to do with my personality and obviously shouldn't judge a book by its cover, especially with someone like me. But anyway, um, I feel like this is a flawed argument in the first place because I feel like our next generation and this generation and every generation would benefit from a less tabooization of sex. I feel like there shouldn't be such a strong stigma around sex and sexuality. So do I feel like showing a girl that she can be open with her sexuality, that she can show off her body and not feel any shame, that she can love herself while also showing off her body, do I think that's wrong? No. I don't think I'm doing anything that as a parent, I wouldn't want my little girl to see someone doing on the internet, especially because if I were a parent, I would instill a lot of context around everything that my child sees. I feel like it's more important to be a good parent rather than to censor your children from seeing certain things. I would always allow my children to see whatever scary movies and whatever sexual content they wanted to or happened to come across, but I would give them a strong sense of context around it. Like, 
I would allow them, I would, I would create an environment where they could ask me any question that they felt like asking. If they were unsure about something, unsure about if something is good or bad, I would have an open conversation with them to the point where if they were interested in experimenting with sex or if they had questions about their sexuality or their bodies and how they're functioning through puberty, I would be someone who would be open enough to talk to them about it and give them a strong sense of self. And it just, it doesn't make any sense to me that like so many parents and so many people push this illogical morality on me like, oh, you shouldn't be doing this because someone might be a bad parent and allow their kid to stumble upon your work or your content without any context and take this as this how, this is the only way that women can look or be treated. And I feel like it's not my responsibility to teach people my set of morals and it's not my responsibility to tell people that you know they should be able to do whatever they want or to put context around every single sexy sexy picture that I upload. Do I feel like it's possible that a little girl, this is this is the argument of the Instagram guy and this is the argument of anyone who sees me only through Twitch and sees me associated with gaming. They go like, oh you're representative of all female gamers and all female Twitch streamers. You're making it, you're first of all giving them a Bad name, which doesn't make any sense because I only represent myself. I only speak for myself. This is who I am. And if someone wants to emulate me, it's not my responsibility to say, hey guys, what I'm doing is fucking disgusting. Because first of all, I don't think so. And second of all, there's always going to be people who emulate other people instead of creating their own individuality and their own brand around their content. Because these people are just vacuous and don't have a personality of their own. I've never looked up to people in a way where I was like, I want to emulate everything this person is without even getting to know why this person is the way that they are because I just want to be exactly like them and, you know, piggyback off of their fame and that to me doesn't make any sense either. I'm probably going to leave this uncut so if there's any stuttering or not being as 100% concise as I would like to be, feel free to ask any questions for any clarification in the comments. Comment section is always open. Anyway, I was going off on a tangent a little bit. My point is that there's always going to be people who didn't have a strong father or mother figure or par parental figure in their lives that taught them right from wrong. And in my opinion, there is no objective morality. So while I think that it's okay for younger children to see sex and to experience reality and to get ready for the real world. There are some parents out there that think that it's important to coddle their children or to censor everything their children see up until a point and then just thrust them out into the real world with no preparation. I think that's wrong, but if that's your prerogative, put parental controls on things. Don't allow your kids to see things. Use the restricted shit mode or YouTube kids instead of actually just allowing them to watch YouTube uncensored. For me, it's important that people don't stigmatize sex as much. For me, that's a good and positive thing. For me, if someone sees my work and what I do as a gamer and my cleavage and what I do as a YouTuber and goes, oh, I have to show my body, but I really don't want to, then that person is a sheeple. It's not, it's not a real person, it's a sheep. You don't have to do anything. And there are plenty of women out there that are successful doing what the fuck they want and they're super feminist and crazy like Emma Watson. Emma Watson makes a lot more money than I do. There are people like, I don't know, um, what, what's the name of the, the streamer chick? There's a streamer chick who streams Hearthstone and she gets thousands of viewers each stream. She is completely clothed. She's not sexualized in any way. Just because I'm comfortable with my sexuality and I like to be sexy and it makes me happy, that doesn't mean that everyone else has to be exactly like me. We're individuals and everyone should embrace their individuality. And if someone's just gonna take one of my pictures out of context, I can't do anything about that. In the same vein, People can say, oh, you have to show boobs to be popular, but they can also say, oh, you have to pretend to like games to be popular, or oh, you have to have blonde hair to be popular. I believe that these people don't have a good sense of self, and I do my best to instill a sense of self, like do whatever the fuck you want, like that's my mantra. And if people don't delve deeper into me and just assume that all I am is this caricature of a blonde bimbo that has no substance, then they're the ones that are misunderstanding me, because I... I think for someone who doesn't feel like it is my responsibility at all to raise other people's fucking children, I mean, I fucking despise children as it is. I don't want any of my own, and I've never 
entered a, the contractual agreement that I'm going to birth a child and then raise it to the best of my ability. So I shouldn't be responsible just because I want to make content that I enjoy and I want to have my little niche niche group of people and my niche little community where we're like-minded and we like to discuss things and you know talk about different topics. I just fucking I, I blanked out there. I, I that's why I cut my videos ever because I do that often and then I hate that I left it in there and I, I just like everything to be concise and perfect and streamlined. So that's usually why I cut my videos if I do cut my videos. But sometimes I like the stream of consciousness, rambly Tara. Uh, so do I think that sex is bad? Do I think that sexual sexualization is bad of men or women? No, I do not. I think that sex is so integral to our society. We need it to prolong our species. Sex is the most natural fucking thing, and our naked bodies are the most natural fucking thing. And I know it's so funny that there's someone so unnatural talking about how natural something is. It, I'm not using a naturalistic fallacy here, which a lot of people use to say that what I do looking fake is bad. Um, it is necessary. It's not necessary. It's not necessarily that it's natural. It's that it's necessary for us to survive and each of us is instilled unless you're asexual or something Every one of us is instilled with a sexuality and a preference and we want to feel sexy And I don't think there's anything wrong with that and I think that when someone does Understand what I'm doing. They know that I'm just having fun posting artistic pictures of my body and sexy pictures of my body because I enjoy creating those pictures and you guys, the people who follow me, enjoy looking at those pictures. That does not say anything about who I am in total. It doesn't make me just one type of person. Any type of person can enjoy sex. Any type of person can have the uh, be of the philosophy that you should be open with your sexuality and that there's nothing wrong with it. They can be you know, astronomers and philosophers and scientists like it's just one portion of who I am and one portion of the bigger picture that is Tara Babcock and if someone's going to take that out of context I cannot control that um I don't feel like I said I don't feel like it's my responsibility to raise other people's kids so I feel like I can do things that are out of context that aren't sit, like sitting there with a disclaimer. And I feel like if we start saying, oh my God, think of the children. What will the children think? What if children get a hold of this material? Then we're censoring so much good content, so much thought provoking content that needs to be out there. I don't think we should ever censor. I think we should put things behind PG walls if that's what the parents want. I think there should be filters that are done right, not like YouTube's doing it, that uh, put certain content behind walls uh, until a certain age that the parents deem appropriate for children. But I do not believe that anything shouldn't be allowed to happen. I don't believe that any one personality like my own should be restricted. I don't believe that I shouldn't be allowed to follow my dreams just because I'm of the opinion that sex isn't such a big deal and my body isn't something to be sh ashamed of. I can love myself and I'm pushing this ideology so that people can take my ideas in, process them, and decide whether or not they agree. If they don't agree, don't show your body. If they do agree, I hope I can empower them to feel comfortable doing it in the face of all of the fucking assholes that are gonna say that they don't love themselves, they don't have respect for themselves because they're showing themselves to someone other than their husband, which by the way, it just sounds like some kind of Sharia law ass motherfucking shit. It sounds like some regressive Muslim ideology. No offense to Muslims who don't follow this whole like women should be the the sole property of her husband and father or whatever the fuck. I really feel like women should be able to do whatever they want. I feel like boyfriends should not be jealous if their girlfriend wants to show off their body. It's their body. It's their choice. You should do whatever you want. You should find your own brand of happiness and you should just do that. Don't emulate me, but take my ideas in, consider them, and then make your own opinions. So I've lost my train of thought because the camera stopped working and I had to bring it in there to find out why the fuck and I still don't know why. It uh, recorded 10 minutes, then recorded one minute, then stopped. It wasn't full, it was like a third of the way full, so I don't know. In summation, I'd just like to say that yes, I do think I'm a good role model, but if you as a parent do not think I'm a good role model for your children, uh, or you just wanna take one of my sexy pictures on Instagram, call me a slut, or say that sexuality should be censored and that sexuality should be private and your body should be private, 
private and you can't love yourself while also being sexually liberated, then we just have a difference of opinion. I don't believe that I'm just gratuitously showing off my body with no artistic aspect and no real strong message behind it. My message is do whatever the fuck you want. Don't emulate me. Don't emulate anyone else. Be an individual. Find your own brand if you're gonna make content. Do what the fuck you want and what makes you happy and what you're passionate about because if you don't, people will see through that and they're not gonna enjoy watching you. There are so many girls out there. I, I watched a girl who said that she's gonna stop pushing up her boobs for the stream. She felt like she had to but it's just so uncomfortable. I am not of that brand of girl at all. I enjoy this. This is how I always look. This is how I'm comfortable. This is good for me and it's good for the viewers so I don't see any problem with it. I am not ashamed of my body. I'm not ashamed of my boobs. I actually think they're really fucking cool looking and I like to show them off and it's much more comfortable than trying to close all of my shirts and being overheated and everything. I just like the way that I do things. I don't think anything's wrong with sex, and I don't think the, what, the thing that I do and what I do with my life, being non-monogamous, being sexually liberated, being open to whatever the fuck you want, uh, I don't think that plastic surgery, I don't think that anything that I do should be pushed on anyone else. So the idea that these girls are gonna look at me and I'm the sole arbiter of what they should do with their futures, and then they just emulate me to the point where they're doing things they don't want to do. I don't think you should show your body if you don't want to. I also don't think you should play video games if you don't want to. I don't think that there's one way to succeed in life. I don't think that there's one way to be in life. And I think that we should not censor media in any way other than parental advisories that parents choose to bestow upon their children. If they do so believe that that's good for their children, I personally don't. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and some of it can resonate with you. Please take it in, think about it, then post your comments in the description, but not in the description, in the comments. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. If you liked, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. There will be two more videos over there. And thank you so much for testing my mic with me while I go through this weird stream of consciousness. Is my shit still filming? It is. Bye, guys.